some people see my t-shirts, so they think it's racist. No, it's not. They wouldn't let me come in six flags because um, they didn't like what I was wearing. And uh, I said Custard had it coming to him. So, but I saw a white guy walking there with a Confederacy flag and, and said Civil War on it. To me, I thought that was racist. Everybody knew what that flag stand for. So, if you're not born on a reservation, some Indians seem to think that you, because you're a city Indian, that you don't, uh, is not an Indian. Well, I had to bust your bubble. Uh, Indian never was supposed to be put on the reservation. White man put uh, your, uh, our people there and my mother's people. So, an uh, Indian that's uh, a city Indian, he's a, more just as an Indian you is. He just wasn't born on a reservation because y'all was forced to go there. You had to get a express pass to leave the reservation. You couldn't even come off. That wasn't on your home. They put you on it. And some of the land they put you on um, wasn't even good land to, to, um, to cultivate and, and, and grow crops and things like that. So that's what I, I don't know why some indigenous people have a problem with that. And um, I don't like what's going on. Like, um, even when it come down to some uh, so-called black people do me like that too. When I went up to the church one Saturday, they was having a barbecue. They didn't want to serve me because they said, won't you go to your own people? And I was shocked hearing that coming from African-American people. I don't like saying the word black. Some people get mad when they say colored. That's a title. You'd rather be called black, but a name that means absolutely nothing. I told before, black means pale and it's an absence of color. So why would you call yourself that? They saying you absent. Don't you know when you be in school, the teachers say, um, they might say Paul, and if he's not there, what they do? They mark you absent. So it's an absence of color. You can look this stuff up. But getting back to these Indians, that, that's a shame what they did to the Indians in Montana, building a damn golf course out there and the houses so they can be comfortable. But they they call that their summer home round their land. They don't give a two two uh shits about them and, and, and they not helping them and stuff like that. I gotta write a letter now to the interior. Uh that's Indian Bureau of Investor Affairs Interior. Um uh, but getting back to what I was saying, I don't like what they did to, to those Indians. They did that to another private Indian. They murdered them to get the twelve million dollars. And spending on their family. That was during the 1920s. And stuff like that. And um, that's why it's strange. They help everybody come in this country from Africans, Egyptians, uh, Middle Eastern people, um, all kind of people. But and they, and they put them up in expensive hotels and give them money. And they don't even be documented. They can, get, they can go get some uh, um, permit without even being documented because it's hooked up like that for them. That's not they're gonna keep winning. Gonna start a massive race war. And I think that's what they want to do anyway. The people in charge of this country. So that's all I got to say for now. Uh, if you like what I said, comment, um, share. And uh, I'm so upset. I forget what I'm saying. Um, I don't die. Why do y'all wish? And um, and I hope y'all like what I said. I must give praise to the Most High. And um, many Machone to my Lakota brothers. Water's life without water, you can't survive. Thank you.